The question says name the following coordination compound. This is the complex given here. Okay, to name the complex, we follow the following order. First, you should name the ligands. Then we have central metal atom. Then you write the oxidation number of the central metal atom. Okay, in Roman numbers. Counter ion can be in the front. It can be in the last also. Okay. Now, second point which you have to keep in mind. Always identify if the central metal atom is present in the cationic complex or anionic complex before writing the name. Okay. So, we have the complex. Uh, this is what K3 is there. And this is Cr. And this is F6. Is there. This is the complex we have. Okay. The species which are present inside the coordination sphere, they cannot be broken. But from here, because this is the counter and it can be broken. Okay. So, first one is always positive, second one is what? Negative. You can see the central metal atom is present in the anionic complex. So whenever it is present in the anionic complex, we have to use its special name. Let's say it is chromium is there. Then in the naming, I will write chromate. Okay, chromium is there, then I'll write chromate. In case if it is present in the cationic complex, we use the common name as given in the periodic table. Okay. And uh, next we calculate the oxidation number. From here it is clear. It is present in the anionic complex. Calculate oxidation number. This is what potassium first group elements always shows plus one oxidation number present in any compound. Okay. We have three potassium is what plus one is there. Then Cr is there plus. This is what fluorine most electronic to always shows minus one six. It is minus one. It is a neutral complex is equal to zero. Simplify. It is what plus three. Cr minus six is equal to zero. Cr minus three is equal to zero. And chromium is present in plus three oxidation number. Okay. Now, when we start naming also, so first we have to name the cationic and then we have the anionic. Then in this case we can see we have the counter ion followed by anionic complex. This is the anionic complex. Okay. So in case of counter ion, you should not focus on the numbers. How many numbers of counter ions are given here? You can see three potassium. We cannot say tri potassium. No, three. Only you write the name. We ignore the numbers. So I write only potassium. Potassium. Okay. I do not write here. We should not write tri potassium. Yeah, di potassium, yeah, penta potassium. These numbers does not matter at all. Okay, this number is coming only by balancing the charge. Okay, like uh, we have K two SO four is there, so we cannot say di potassium sulfate. Two is coming by balancing the charge because sulfate ion is one minus two potassium is one plus one. When we crisscross this number, then we are getting K two. So we do not say di potassium sulfate. We say potassium sulfate. Similarly, we use only potassium. Okay, next. For the complex, we follow this order. <laughs> ligand. Okay. So, ligand only one type of ligand. How many ligand six are there? So for six, we can use hexa. We have hexa. Okay. And for fluorine, we name it as a fluorido. We have fluorido is there. Then central metal atom, chromium is there. Since it is present in the anionic complex, we use chromate. We have chromate. Chromate is there. Okay, chromate. Then after that, oxidation number in Roman number. What is the oxidation number? 3. So we have to write in Roman numbers. 3 is there. It is a neutral complex. You can see it does not carry or else any kind of charge. We do not mention iron. Potassium, hexa, fluorido, chromate, 3. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel.